Hi, this is Wayne Williams of Speaking of Horses, and we're proud to be partnering with Northwest Horse Source, bringing you videos about the horse industry through our association with this publication, Northwest Horse Source. So, let's watch our current video of the week. Hey, welcome to Speaking of Horses. Now, today, we're going to take you on a little bit different journey. We've shown through the years of this show highlights of trick horses and trick riders and we've shown highlights of some of the best trainers and all those things but today I've got a, a distinct privilege of being in Logan, Iowa. Scott Thomas who uh, also runs the Parade Horse page on Facebook is my guest and because I have ridden parade for years and I have a couple of flowers saddles myself and I'm tied to one that Holly Armstrong now owns because it used to be my father's Scott has a complete collection and we're sitting down in his room where he has uh, many either flowers or Bolin or what are the other Bruce Levins, Bruce Levins, Keystons, Keystons, Voights Vestalias. He's got quite a collection and these are all go back in the history go back to the Silver Screen Cowboys who really sort of brought them out you know the, the Gene Autry's the Roy Rogers and bring them on through so we're going to talk a little bit about uh, parade this saddle. is the Richard Hunt saddle that we were discussing earlier in the program this is the saddle that came from Indianapolis uh, it's a Keystone saddle like we had talked about and then Ted Flowers made all the pieces to go along with it. Everything on this saddle is sterling silver and it has 24 karat gold horse heads in all the center medallions of all the conchos. Um, Comstock silver conchos added to it, all hand engraved. Uh, we think these are Comstock. I, I kind of feel they're, they have a Keystin feel to them, but jury's still out on that but just typical California style engraving on the horn and that because this was all done in California uh, beautiful saddle big saddle big saddle heavy very heavy saddle comfortable to ride in uh, probably one of the best saddles that flowers produced All right, this is the gold saddle we were discussing. The whole saddle is covered 24 karat gold, plated. So it's actually a plate and over brass, just like you know anything you'd buy that's gold plated. It's one of three that we know to exist that were actually gold plated. And we bought this saddle from the original order. She ordered it brand new from the spot shop, Ted Flowers, in 1970-ish, early 70s. Uh, Rode the saddle on her horse called Royal Entertainer, Big Stallion. She ran Palomine Stables down in Georgia. Uh, 165 championships won riding that stallion in this saddle. And this saddle has only been on American Saddlebred horses. It's never been on any other horse other than a saddlebred. I've owned the saddle for probably seven, eight years. I've never had it on a horse. and. I'm hoping that eventually a horse will come along that will be worthy of it and we'll bring it out of retirement and we'll get it back in the show ring so people can see it again.